will be having our closing prayer and serving the Lord's Supper to those who may have not had an opportunity uh, this morning. And if you would, we'll get started with open prayer, if you'll bow with me. Father in heaven, we come in prayer tonight, Father, entering this worship service, praising your high and holy name, thanking you, Father, for this opportunity that we have to gather here with our Christian brothers and sisters to worship you in spirit and in truth, sing songs of praises unto thee, gather around thy table to remember the great sacrifice given to us by Jesus, and to hear another portion of your true and divine word. We're so thankful, Father, for the church that meets here in Malden and church worldwide, and we just pray, Father, that the truth will always be taught in your church. We're thankful, Father, for each and every person we have here tonight. We're thankful that they took the time out of their day to worship with us, and we pray for your blessings on each and every one of them and their families. We also raise up to you, Father, those of our number who are unable to be here, those of our number who are sick, those who are recovering, those, Father, who may be working this hour, and, and last but not least, those who are traveling. We just pray, Father, that those who are sick will regain their health and be able to worship with us again. And we pray for safe journeys for all those who are traveling. We also pray to this evening, Father, for those who may be spiritually sick. We pray that something we said or done in their lives, that they may change the error of their ways and, and come to your full, Father, before it is eternally too late. We're all thankful, thankful again, Father, for Jesus and the great sacrifice that he gave to us. We're thankful for that opportunity we have to have that home in heaven with you one day. We do pray, Father, tonight for Brother Joel as he gives us a lesson tonight. We pray that he would have a ready recollection of the lesson that he has prepared and studied today, this week. We pray that he would be able to deliver it to us in a way that we may be able to tentatively hear and, and, and listen and and put it into us and put it into our thoughts to where, Father, that we may have the courage and the knowledge that we may be able to share your word with others. We may be able to let them know the love that Jesus has for them. We're thankful again, Father, for this great country we live in and the many freedoms and blessings we enjoy. We just pray that as we continue this worship service tonight, that all that is said and done is in accordance to your will and pleasing unto thee. We do pray for your forgiveness, Father, when we fall short of being the Christians we're expected to be. This prayer we ask this, this evening is in the loving, strong name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brother Paul. Four hundred ninety-nine. Four hundred ninety-nine. Oh, to be like the blessed Redeemer, this is my constant longing and prayer. Gladly I'll forfeit all of earth's treasures, Jesus thy perfect likeness to wear. Oh, to be like thee, oh, to be like thee, blessed Redeemer, pure as thou art, come in thy sweet Now 
to receive the anointing divine. All that I am and have I am bringing, Lord, from this moment, I'll gently same page. We didn't have a whole lot of time. We're doing a little bit different service tonight. We're having a service in scripture and song with the theme of songs disciples sing. And there will be uh, Barney and Dale and John will be participating in reading the scriptures and uh, Paul and I will be switching off on the song service and I will offer the invitation uh, at the end we hope you'll be uplifted by our, our scriptures and our songs that we've that we're singing. They all have a theme as we go through it. And I appreciate Paul. Paul hasn't led singing much lately, and he has difficulty seeing the words. He's got a little bit farther advanced issue than I do. I have a cataract that's not ripe enough, and he has one that's almost. So it makes him have a little bit of difficulty singing the song of uh, seeing the word so I really appreciate him stepping up tonight and helping out with the song of service 970 970 <clears throat> Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways, and step by step you'll lead me and I will follow you all of my days I will follow you all of my days I will follow you all of my days and step by step you'll lead me and I will follow you all of my days couple of scriptures that Brother Barney will be reading, uh, and we will have songs in between those scriptures that he has written. Barney? This first one is about serving others is the theme of it. Okay, so we'll all be on the same page. We want to turn to Galatians, the sixth chapter. I will be reading the first ten verses. Galatians 6, 1 through 10. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. If a man thinketh of himself to be something, and he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, then he shall have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For 
For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And be not weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially those of a household of faith. Number one, one. This piece of paper is too big. I can figure out. It's right in the way. Okay. Each day I'll do a golden day by helping those who are in need. My life on earth is but a span. strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. But every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. But even Christ pleased not himself, for it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus, that you may be one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore receive one another as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Six nineteen. 
Take time to be holy. Speak up with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. John 6, 35 through 40. And it reads, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life and I will raise him up at, at the last day. Eight hundred five, eight hundred five. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear on my ear the Son of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we carry there no singing and the melody 
that he gave to me. He's three, the three. John 14, verses 23. That's John 14, 23. And it reads, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Four one seven. Four one seven. My God and I go in the field together. We walk and talk as good friends should and do. We clasp our hands, our voices ring with laughter. My God and I walk through the meadows here. We clasp our hands, our voices ring with laughter. My God. Tells me of the years that went before me when heavenly plans were made for me to be when all was but a dream of dim conception to come to But God and I 
speak to us about our true home. I'll be reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 13 through 16. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on, on the earth. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had an opportunity to have returned. But now they, des they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he that hath prepared them for a city. Two, four, seven. <clears throat> Two, four, seven. Here we are, but straining pilgrims here, our path is often dim. But to cheer us on our journey still, we sing this wayside hymn. Yonder over the rolling river, where the shining mansions rise, soon will be our home forever, and the smile of the blessed giver gladdens all our longing eyes. Here our feet are often weary, on the hills that throng our way. Here the tempest darkly gathers, but our hearts within us say, Yonder over the rolling river, where the shining mountains rise, soon will be our home forever, and the smile given glad is all our longing eyes. Here our souls are often fearful of the pilgrim's lurking foe, but the Lord is our defender, and he tells us we may know. Yonder over the rolling river, where shining mansions rise, soon will be our home forever, and the smile of the blessed giver glad is all our longing eyes. I'll be reading out the book of Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. It would encourage me to be two five five. Two five five. Four four. Four four. Mm -hmm. Earthly wealth and fame. And a palace fair here mine may never be, but let come what may, if Christ for me doth care. Anywhere is home, if he is only there. Anywhere. 
starting out leading singing I kind of took the song selection for granted it was almost like we had a pattern we had to follow we would sing so many songs we'd have a prayer we'd sing so many songs and so you had to you, you, you pick the songs to fill the spaces and as I got older I began to understand what teaching one another with songs hymns and spiritual songs actually meant that we're not just filling time. That's one of the things, because Dale approached me earlier in the week and said, see, folks, I was playing C when it came for a speaker today. Um, Dennis had a couple of folks in mind, and just so happens that everybody's on vacation this week. Dale and Dennis picked the worst week <coughs> to be off. So it kind of fell to me around uh, Tuesday morning fill in because it took that long for him to get word from folks whether they could be here or not. And Dale suggested that we do this song service. And he didn't suggest it so that we just make up the time so we could check the boxes and say we're, we're, we've been here today. I hope you realize that the songs that we sung 
and the scriptures we read for the most part blended together and had a message for us and that was the purpose in doing what we did tonight and you can teach and present a message just as much in songs that's why we have to be careful uh, in what we sing because we don't want to sing an untruth uh, just as we don't want to teach an untruth but anytime we come together we're here to present the gospel and give folks the opportunity to obey if they've not obeyed. Uh, we must have faith, and that faith comes by here in the Word of God, <clears throat> Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Belief is important. John chapter 8 and verse 24 tells us that we must believe or we'll die in our sins. Now, uh, that's good. But you know, even my daughter-in-law pointed out to me last week when we were talking, you know, you believe you do well, but so did the devils. But are they going to be saved? No, because all they did was believe and shudder or tremble. They didn't obey. We must, we must repent of our sins. Luke chapter 13 and verse 3, except we repent, we will all likewise perish. Confession is important. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 32, we see that <clears throat> Jesus said that if we will acknowledge him before men, if we will confess him before men, he will acknowledge us before his Father God in heaven. We have one example of that in the New Testament in the Ethiopian unit when he made the statement that I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And we must obey through baptism. In Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, I know people say, oh, you're always going back to that. Well, it's important because this was the day the church was established. And what did they do in order to become a part of that church? They asked Peter, what do we do? And Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of your sin. And you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. About 3,000 souls on that day did that and became the first members of the church. And as we talked about this morning, God is not changing. Thank goodness he's not changing. Thank God he doesn't change. I would be very hesitant and skeptical and fearful of a God that changed from time to time because I'd be afraid that I wouldn't hear what the change was and I'd miss it. But God has given his word to us to send his son so that we can have the opportunity. And we must always remain faithful to him. To 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, if, he's, if we're faithful and he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, if we just ask. So if you have a need this evening, if you need to put on your Lord's baptism or if you need the prayers of the church or you need to repent, Whatever your need might be, come while we stand, while we sing. I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world's delight. Things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have allured my son. I will. 
have not had the opportunity to take the Lord's Supper, if you will, come to the front and you'll be served. Please be seated. give thanks for the bread. Our kind Heavenly Father, we thank you for this, the bread, <clears throat> which represents Jesus' body that hung up on that cross. As he hung up on that cross for each and every one of us, we pray as these partake of this, we do so in a manner that is pleasing in thy sight. Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> in prayer for the fruit of the vine. Our kind heaven, Father, we thank you for this, the fruit of the vine, which represents that shed blood that was shed for the remission of our sins. We pray as these partake of this, we do so in a manner that is pleasing in thy sight. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> basket will be left up on the table for anyone that you don't have the opportunity to give this morning. Let's give thanks for our blessings. Our kind heaven Father, we thank you for this time that we can give back a portion of you, unto you that you bountifully blessed each and every one of us with. We pray as the ones that may give back at this time will give back in a manner that is pleasing in thy sight. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are there any other announcements before we're dismissed? We want to thank Joel for doing the, this morning's lesson and doing tonight. Thank uh, Paul for helping lead singing. Thank all the other men that did help. Uh, I hope each one of you have a great week. We'll all stand and we'll be close with our closing prayer. Our kind, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we've been able to be out here with our brothers and sisters in Christ, take part in this worship service. We pray that each one of us will take these things we've learned today, we'll study and apply them to our lives, be stronger Christians, and we can teach others our word. We pray as we go out in our work week this week that others will see us and they'll know we're Christians by our examples. I also thank you for <clears throat> the church here at Malden. Thank you for the church the world over. Pray that you also be with all of our shut-ins, the ones where number are sick, especially the ones that be having an upcoming test this coming week. Pray that you'll be the ones where number that are traveling, that you'll keep them safe and return them back to us. Pray that you'll always be with us here, that each and everything we say and do always be according to our will. Pray that you'll be with us through this week, that you'll always guard, guide, and direct us and give us all of any sins. Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, what's why? I don't know.